All right, finally, maybe we're live. I have no idea. I hope so. So uh, I said I was going to be live at 7 o'clock, but apparently that didn't happen because I've had nothing but uh, technical problems. The three programs that run this, I've had to shut down and restart twice. The microphone, I almost threw across the room. And uh, still not even sure that it's working right because I can't see it. But anyways, we're going to try this. Told you guys I was going to be doing this month's Lucky Tackle Box unboxing live. So we're going to do that right now. And uh, this is also was supposed to be testing out this whole live streaming thing because I got a new setup today with some new stuff. Uh, able to hook my DSLR up to my computer. But the two programs that I, uh, that I tested this with earlier today both will not work so as you can see there's the sparko soft watermark on the screen and that's why because i have to use this piece of junk but anyways we're gonna make the best out of it so we'll just get right into this month's lucky tackle box and let's see what we got Right here, we got a couple of uh, VMC power shot hooks. These have the uh, little swivels made into the eyes of them. Not really sure what those are ever used for, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they're just a large drop shot hook or something. Guess we'll find out in our tackle guide. So on top, we got a active duty fishing sticker. We have the Monster Bass Patriot Topwater. What well, looks like a spook. We have a Throwback Lures. A Throwback Lure Square Bill. Which looks uh, pretty, nice, pretty decent. It's got that golf ball style pattern on the sides of it. Then we have a Livingston Lures uh, Primetime CB 2.0 with the electronic bait sounding technology. And uh, they also offer this thing on the side of it where you've got an app and you can uh, record all of your catch data, including your lure, what lure you use. Uh, and of course all the information about the fish time of day that kind of thing Then we have uh, some logic lures a tandem rig which I've seen these this is a uh, a Rig that's got two um, Little soft plastic dirt baits in it and they're rigged together. One follows the other one right behind it, kind of like a trailer. Uh, I've seen a lot of people fishing these lately, especially the pros have started fishing a lot of these. Um, and if you guys can't hear me, please let me know. Oh, and my mouse also quit working today, like right as I was trying to do this. So, uh, seen those fished been wanting to actually make one and uh, just never did so now I'll have the chance to use one some V&M what looks like some small finesse baits some uh, small soft plastic dirt baits they call it a dork shad not sure where they came up with that name but alright So those look pretty neat, although I don't use a lot of finesse bait. Then we have some Texas Tackle Company. Uh, these are some what I call bugs. These aren't necessarily crawls. I had some like this that were not from this company. They were from uh, a different company, but they looked a whole lot like this, and I actually caught a lot of fish on them. For some reason, fish just couldn't stand that little... This little design from here down uh, with the two flappers on the side and those pointed uh, tails. 
caught a lot of fish on those. They were a little bit smaller than those, but they were the same idea. So we'll have to see if those bigger ones catch some bigger fish. And then on the bottom, we've got a, a Tiger Balm pain relieving patch, which is pretty big actually. So uh, haven't tried Tiger Balm stuff yet but I might have to after this Saturday because we have a tournament that goes until 4 o'clock. So uh, I might have to try that. But let's go through the tackle guide real quick. Uh, let me see. Lucky Tackle Box is now doing a bass fishing tournament the 15th through the 30th of every month. $5 entry. They were just doing them kind of whenever. Now I guess they're doing them the end of every month so the first thing on the catalog is this uh, monster bass pro uh, patriot so yep it's worked like a spook walking the dog pretty much uh, let it sit until the rings have dissipated then point your rod tip at the bait with a small amount of slack on the line give your rod and tip short pops downward which i find never to work i pop my red my rod tip upward for some reason of course i'm not very good at walking the dog either uh fishing on a seven foot seven three medium heavy with a bait caster and 15 pound line which is ridiculous. You don't need that that heavy of a line for a top water. You could get away with 10 pound. 12 pound is normal. 15 pounds just a little too big. You can see 15 pound on top of the water. Um, uh, fished around riprap docks, points, rocks, humps, ledges, and open water. They left out grass and trees in that one which I'm surprised because most of my topwater baits I catch around grass spooks included so the next one goes to the V&M drop shad uh, fishing on a drop shot of course you can play with various distances between your hook and weight depending on how the bass are positioned meaning depending on how far they up in the water column you need to have it higher either higher or lower uh, fish at seven foot to seven six medium white spinning rod, spinning reel and six to eight pound tatsu fluorocarbon, which is about right. Eight pound is okay. Uh, fish at humps, rip rat points, rocks, ledges, and open water. Which is yeah, that's all right. Rock uh, rock piles being the big one for those. So then we move on to the Texas Tackle, the big bug. Uh, it's a beaver style bug, flipping and pitching or using tandem as a trailer. Uh, three quarter ounce weight, which is huge. You probably don't need that much. Uh, You can go with a lighter wire hook and smaller bullet weight for a slower fall. Make sure to always peg your weight with a bobber stopper when fishing around cover. Uh, recommended gear is whatever you want to use. So something like a 7.6 flipping rod with a light bait caster on it. Uh, probably some 10 pound or 12 pound test if you're fishing around. Uh, brush and you can use it anywhere any structure so then we move on to the VMC power shot hooks which are these the uh, product description the souped up version of drop shotting so that's what I was guessing they were very effective target big fish hunkered down and around cover Present your bait suspended above the bottom and keep it in front of bass face. VMC power shot hooks feature an offset wide gap hook which allows you to rig bigger baits and fish them weedlessly. 
The extra long Z-Bend design helps firmly secure your bait. It's longer length. Your bait won't interfere with the swivel. Perfect for targeting bigger fish and heavier cover. Hmm. Okay. So it's basically just a reverse Carolina rig. Uh, the Livingston Prime Time, which is right here, and in my favorite color as well. Uh, I always have a few different square bill colors laid out. Uh, if the water is clear, try something more translucent and natural. If that doesn't work, switch to red crawl or something bold like chartreuse and blue. If the water's muddy, make sure you have a darker, more distinct color. And you can fish that with a seven foot to seven four medium crankbait rod, a uh, bait caster, of course, and 10 to 12 pound line, which is right, fluorocarbon. Uh, rip wrap docks, points, rocks, and open water. But it left out humps, which is where you would probably want to fish a square bill. So, we did not get the wiggly jig. We got something else. We got the tandem rig. So they have the wiggly jig, wiggly jiggly listed in the book, but we didn't get that. So we're gonna skip that one. I'll tell you about it, what it says on the back. Uh, this thing, it's pre-rigged, so you've got uh, one soft plastic dirt bait right behind the other. And uh, then you've got this weedless, of course, reusable rig. Just replace the plastics on it. 30-pound fluorocarbon leader. Texas twister swivel hooks. And bait clips. Bait stay on five times longer. I don't really know what that means. Oh, I see what that means. Huh, that's cool. It's like a little staple going through the head that keeps the bait on longer. Natural schooling action, fish instinctively, look for. Doesn't tell what depth to use it in, but I'm going to assume it's going to be uh, between one and four feet. Or, I mean, you could fish it deeper, I guess. But they also sent them in the pumpkin seed color. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there was nothing else in here except something from Progressive. But uh, of all the baits in here, uh, this uh, Livingston Square, call it a square bill. It's actually a tombstone bill, technically. Uh, that I'm going to be trying this weekend. That tandem rig. Uh, the topwater bike. Hopefully we'll be good this weekend, but I may not be fishing this. I'll probably be fishing a uh, buzz bait. Those will be going in the boat. Uh, those will probably not be going in the boat. The square bill will, and those hooks might. Uh, an active duty fishing. I don't really know what that means. I guess it's just a sticker, random sticker from them, because there was nothing that I saw in here from Active Beauty Fishing. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this month's box. And I think Dad's already disassembled his box, or I would show you the mystery tackle box. But, uh, Oh, well, look at here. We do have it. So I'll run through this one real quick. Dad gets, I get the Lucky Tackle Box. Dad gets Mystery Tackle Box every month. So, uh, his, if you guys are interested in what came in this one, he's got the Biospawn Exoswim. Uh, I actually used some Biospawn lures this past week. Uh, rig, Texas rig, I mean, uh, not Texas rig, um, uh, shaky head rig and I broke two off one of those picked up the bait and started running with it and as soon as I went to set the hook it snapped 
So uh, it was a pretty big dang fish. Uh, he got the Bagley Pro Sunny B Twin Spin, which is uh, basically a short, fat devil's horse. He got a Catch Co spinner bait that has, this is a spinner bait. The blades on it are kind of small, but it has a standard size uh, head on it. And it's also white, which is good because they seem to like white spinner baits around here. A Stickies trailer hook. Let's see if I can get this open without ripping it. Because I'm sure it's just going to be a regular trailer hook. Yeah, it's a, basically a regular trailer hook with a little rubber boot over the end, which actually isn't the best way to do that. Uh, one of these days I'll show you guys how to actually rig a trailer hook so that you don't have to punch your other hook through like that because it's uh, that can actually make the hook, instead of trailing this way, it can stick the hook down this way or it can stick it up this way and the fish might miss it. So he's got some big bite baits, uh, small soft plastic dirt baits in here, and a uh, what looks like a watermelon flake and white, a holographic fish, or not a holographic fish, a pixelated fish. And his book that tells what's inside. So let's have a look at that. Hmm? Oh, I get it. Okay. So. Um, three top waters to throw during the spawn. What? All right, it says what's in the box. Oh, okay, that one page is only what's in the box. Okay. I thought this was kind of like my book that told you how to use everything in the box, but it's not. It actually doesn't tell you anything about what's in the box. But anyways, uh, so his box was worth 13, 6, 19, 23, 25. So this box was worth almost $27. I think. So, uh, yeah, that's what the mystery tackle box looks like. And really, the only reason I get more in mine is because I have the Bass XL box. Because the standard Lucky Tackle box has that same amount of baits in it. So, uh, thank you guys for joining. Yes, I was 30 minutes late to getting this live because I had a multitude of technical problems. Uh, hopefully this Sparko Soft Jump won't be on here next time because the uh, software I was supposed to use isn't working. This software barely worked. I had to shut it down and restart it twice. Uh, my audio wouldn't work through the camera, so I had to finally hook it up to the computer after hooking it up backwards. Um, and then it didn't want to go live either. But I finally got it online. And yes, I know it's probably jumpy because uh, Sparkosoft is, I don't know. I guess my camera might be set too high. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, this video will be posted later on so that you guys can go check it out. Uh, but I will have some videos coming. I've got some uh, product reviews. I've uh, got uh, some new reels that I'm going to show you guys. That's a real company I might be going with for this year. Uh, pretty impressed with their stuff by now. Uh, and I've only used two of their reels. Pretty impressed with them. Uh, got some new video equipment and I will go through with you guys and show you how uh, all the video equipment that I use hopefully this year and I will also show you how we have the boat set up for the 2018 tournament season all that's coming 
uh, one of these days that I get time on my hands. So uh, I've got a tournament this weekend, so I'll hopefully be posting some videos of that. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.